Hello everybody, Dark Vice 88 back again. It is October it is actually September the September the 28th, Friday. It is raining currently. I just want to show you all a pan shot. It's it is coming down. I can actually hear it. So I just wanted to, you know, show you around. Uh, you know, I've been kind of it's a different camera now. I just want to see how it works. It has been a bit of a long time, but I wanted to get a few things in before I start anything. And uh, there's a window, there's the TV. Penny stocking and more stuff. And we got a few things. We got some Blu-rays. We got some anime. We've got comic books. A lot of awesome stuff. Um, oh yeah, we also got some... Actually, I showed up the video games. The only new thing I bought was Psychonauts on the PS3 over there. It took me like days to download because my internet speed was slow, but I managed to get it. So uh, let's start. I'll start with Blu-ray, then we'll move on to DVD, anime. Well, actually start with anime first. Uh, this anime release was really big for me because I've been dying to get my hands on it. It reserved it back in July. Mars Assessor Nadesco, the complete collection. Now, I have the original ADV thin pack, but this is a remastered version. They clean up the video and audio. There's some more extras, and it has the movie and the never before release in the States, Gekiganger 3 OVA. Very excellent sci fi series. It's like Genji Ken meets Macross. It is one of my, now, it is one of my favorite series of all time. Um. It, it, came, it cleaned up very well. Great box set. Very impressed with it. Now, the Gekki Gang 3 OVA was awesome. The movie ended abruptly and apparently you needed to play a Sega Saturn game to find out what happened, but it was solid. It was supposed. I heard it was supposed to be... The movie was supposed to be the first in the trilogy that never got released, but it's sad. But sometimes what can you do? Still, the series is really awesome. So yeah, next up, uh, we got Supernatural, the anime series. This was on sale on Right Stuff for ten bucks. I just finished it today. It's it's mad. It has the animations are good, but some and some of the stories are okay. But really, you're not going to see a second season. It ends at season two when Dean sells his soul and they kill the Yellow Die Demon. So there's not going to be a three or four anime cast yell or anything. But it's okay. I only bought this for collection purposes. But I hate to say this on my top five worst anime. I put this at number five. If you're a collector of Supernatural, buy it, but if you like Supernatural, I wouldn't say it's, you know, necessary. If you can find this for five, ten bucks, I recommend just picking it up and seeing something different, but, you know, all right. Um, and, of course, Supernatural, you have to get Supernatural Season 7. Uh, me and my, my brother and I are watching this, and we're loving Season 7. Very awesome. Love the Leviathans. Uh, the guy who plays the head Leviathan, James Patrick Stewart, also voiced Johnny Quick in Justice League Christ on Two Earths and Zigbar in Kingdom Hearts 2. But, uh, you know, I'm liking how where it's going. Uh, season 8 starts next week, so I'm going to probably record Season 8 for a bit. And then when we're done Season 7, my brother and I will just jump on Season 8. Very excited, though. Season 7. Better than Season 6. Getting up very well. Though I'm sad that Bobby died. Sorry about the spoilers, but, you know, still happy with it. Love it. Love Supernatural. Now, now Blu-rays. First off, my FYE is having a which I always go to is having a buy two, get one, get the third for a dollar or 90 cents with my discount, so I picked up a few Blu-rays. First we have National Lampoon's Animal House, one of the funniest movies ever made. Great, if you haven't seen this, you have to. It's got great humor, great acting, memorable, always memorable moments. Even has this funny little mockumentary about where the cast members, their characters are now, which is pretty funny to watch. Some good documentaries, a little scenic game. Uh, it's worth, it's worth, this is one, this is one of those movies you have to have in your collection if you're a comedy buff or a movie buff. Very nice. Next up we have Men in Black, one of my favorite movie, sci-fi movies of all time. I wanted to pick this up because I wanted, I, you know, I wanted Men in Black in my collection. Um, I'm not getting Men in Black 2 because that was shit. Now I'm waiting for 3 so I can buy them and watch it. Tom Lee Jones and Will Smith are fantastic in this movie and it still holds up very well. It's, you know, for a blue, it's a good cleanup Blu-ray. I think they just remastered the D, one of the DVDs when it was released on DVD years ago, but still very good. And I mean DVD by the extras on it. They have trailers for 21 and Water Horse, which came out years ago. But and that, though, worth picking up. If you love sci-fi, pick up Men in Black. And the one I got for 90 cents, this was a blind buy, but it's now one of my favorite animated movies of all time. The Fantastic Mr. Fox, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. I didn't like the book. I read this as a kid because I was forced to, but now I watched the movie. 86 minutes of pure comedy, fast-moving, great acting by George Clooney, Meryl Streep, 
Schwartzman, Murray, Wilson. Memorable lines, great situations, a fantastic soundtrack. Well, it's fantastic. If you're an animation buff, pick this up. Worth it. Next up, it was a uh, Tuesday was big superhero day. Uh, excuse me, a big superhero day, superhero theme day. Because I picked up Batman: The Dark Knight Returns Part One on a Blu-ray DVD ultraviolet pack. Good acting by Peter Weller and Ariel Winter as Batman and the new Robin Carrie Kelly. It stops right at the mutant fight, and the second movie will include Joker and Superman. They, I don't like the fact they cut out the inter, inner monologuing, but and I think you know well and well is okay, but I wish they got Michael Ironside like they did in that episode of Batman animated series from years ago. But the story's solid, the animation's pretty crisp, still an awesome movie, and I can't wait for a part two in March 2013. And finally, one of my favorite, pretty much my favorite live action superhero movie of all time. Marvel's The Avengers in the shiniest damn case I could find. Blu-ray DVD. One of the best... This is seriously one of the best superhero movies ever made. One of the best movies ever made. Just everything I could ask for. Great fight scenes, great dialogue, a great story. It's fantastic. This is the way to go. Just unbelievable. Highly recommend, recommend you watch this. And finally, picked up... Season 2 of Boardwalk Empire. It is a Blu-ray and also has the... Like, there's the Blu-ray and everyone gives you the stink eye. And there's the DVD, which is just... I love the DVD. It's like... Derp. Okay. Anyways. A fantastic series yet again. Great performances. I'm watching Season 3 with my dad. It's been good so far. I've, I'm re now I'm re-watching this because I bought it. I'm on 11 and 12 right now. And it's had a great ending. Shocking, but great. And if you like gangster flicks... Pick up season one and two. It's highly worth it. All right, now we're on to comics. First up, bought this yesterday. Avatar The Last Dead and Bender, The Promise Part 3. Great ending to the comic series, to this comic series. And The Search starts next year, which will involve Azula teaming up with the gang to look for Zuko and Azula's mother. Very exciting. Good artwork. It, it really, this should be animated. This should really should be animated. Just fantastic storyline. Great characterization. Everything. Next up, uh, this is from a while ago, we got uh, Volume 1 of the New 52 Animal Man, Volume 1 The Hunt. This is a blind buy, gave it a try. I like what I'm reading. Jeff Lemire knows his stuff, and Travel Foreman's art is just bizarre and just really surreal and awesome. Worth picking up. And now i got to read Swamp Thing and the next few books in the series, but I'm really happy to have gotten that. Next we got, of course, Thunderbolts. Let's move that out of the way. Thunderbolts, Justice Like Lightning, which is where the Thunderbolts, these Thunderbolts still time traveling, meet up with the original Thunderbolts. And there's an episode with Songbird, and then. Great. I'm not going to spoil the ending to this, but it's a great ending in this graphic novel that sets up for Dark Avengers, which is ending the modern Thunderbolts for the new Thunderbolts, which is just a bunch of anti heroes. If you don't believe me, read up on the new Thunderbolts. Awful. But this Thunderbolts, unbelievable. Gonna miss you, Jeff Parker. Then, uh, I rebought this a while ago. Got this for free at a Newberry comic sale. Watchmen, uh, new version. My old version's missing. And, you know, what can you say about Watchmen? It's one of the best graphic novels of all time. One of Time's 100 best novels. Great that I got this. You know, happy with it. And it, I just needed the collection because I was missing it. But, so yeah. I mean, I read it before, but my old copy was missing. And then next up, got this online on a DZ comic sale. The Green Lantern Green Arrow Collection by Dennis O'Neill and Neil Adams from the 70s includes where Speedy's Ward, Speedy's a junkie, Hal Jordan gets more active with the city, Green Arrow accidentally kills a guy, first appearance of Jon Stewart. Great artwork, great storylines. They're not they're not dated like some of the themes are, but the drug but fighting drug use and poverty and corruption really speaks in the series. Recommend any comic collector pick this series up. They just reprint it so fantastic. And now for my biggest collection. This is the big one in the collection I'm happy to have gotten. All nine volumes of Preacher by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I gave it a blind buy, and next thing you know, I'm using the current Barnes & Noble buy two, get one free on DC Comics to buy the whole series. It's now one of my favorite comic series of all time, dealing with love, redemption, honor. 
it's pretty much a western set in the late 90s and just the characters are awesome like Jesse Custer, Tulip O'Hare, Cassidy, uh, Hairstar, The Saint of Killers. This is one of those series I would recommend to you. Even if Garth Ennis has gotten some people think he's weird with the boys, this is the series you want to read. It's just amazing. And the artwork's great and the storyline. I just buy it. You'll be impressed. All I can say. See? Jesse Custer commands you to do it. Anyways, that's my collection. There'll be more coming up. I got another anime con coming up in three weeks. Hope to see you, uh, some of you viewers there. But until then, you know how it is. Stay easy.